hello. Welcome to Rhapsody. Today we're going to be talking about something that I think is pretty monumental, and a lot of people are even saying it's the most iconic day in cinema history, but we can definitely square that away to 2023. I'm not sure about the history of cinema, but it's definitely a monumental day. And this is the arrival of Barbenheimer. So for anyone that doesn't know, Barbie and Oppenheimer are coming out on the same day, July 21st, which is this Friday. And this is pretty exciting for movies, especially since movie theater going has been down since COVID. And these two movies are very contrastingly different, which I think is the main reason why this double feature opening is so amazing. But there have been a lot of memes that are actually super hilarious about the double feature and a lot of people are going to see them back to back and it's created this sort of internet phenomenon known as Barbenheimer. So I'm super surprised that Barbie hasn't been adapted into a full feature before and I was really unsure about how they were going to go about creating the Barbie movie but Greta Gerwig is a genius and a mastermind and so I'm really excited about the way that she put this movie together because Barbie and Ken leaving Barbie land just seems so fitting and this is probably the most perfect way that anyone could tell the story of Barbie without it being boring to say the least but Oppenheimer was definitely super super intriguing to me and it was definitely on my list before Barbie but Barbie just seems like such a good time and so much fun and honestly, Oppenheimer seems super depressing, and it's probably going to make a lot of people sad, especially if you know anything about the atomic bomb and Robert Oppenheimer. And if you don't, it probably will be even sadder because history is sad and nuclear weaponry is very depressing. So while many people are going to see Barbie and Oppenheimer the same weekend i'm not i'm gonna spread it out i'm gonna spread out the movie love i'm definitely gonna go see barbie first though i'm gonna go see it this weekend and then i'll go see oppenheimer next weekend but we're gonna have another video about the two movies and we might even do one just on barbie because this movie looks spectacular it looks so funny ryan gosling as ken is a whole mood marma robbie is absolutely darling as barbie this just seems so exciting and a lot of people have been saying that Barbie is for the older folks because it's the nostalgia that's hitting real hard with everyone that's played with Barbies throughout their whole lifetime. But this is definitely a movie for everyone. Even Greta Gerwig said herself that this movie is for everyone. So I'm super excited for families, friends, adults, kids, everyone to go see it. And I definitely want to read all the reviews and I hope everything is great because it just looks like such a great movie that we kind of need right now. But Oppenheimer looks like a cinematic masterpiece. I personally, from what I've seen, it's probably going to get some Oscar nods next year because it just looks amazing. But both movies seem absolutely great. And I would love to know what you guys think about both movies when you go see them. And let me know if you're going to see a double feature and which you would go see first. I definitely, if we're doing it in one day, I would go see Oppenheimer first because it's really dreary and then Barbie can kind of lighten your mood. And this whole Barbenheimer phenomenon is also kind of showing how unserious people are generally these days because Oppenheimer is not something to laugh about, but people have made it hysterical and Oppenheimer in Barbie land is just magnificent so i'm totally excited to go see both those movies and both movies have such a great cast i just don't want to cry this weekend no offense to oppenheimer it it really does seem great but there's also so many other movies coming out right now haunted mansion is coming out soon and this movie actually seems legit funny and just exciting and there is so much noise coming out of my window right now. This is ridiculous. See, in, in the city, you cannot get any peace and quiet. But at the movies, you can also not get any peace and quiet because movie theaters are extremely loud. Movie theaters 
even when a scene is quiet, you can still hear booming going on in the other theater. It's ridiculous. Like in Oppenheimer, there's going to be a lot, a lot, definitely a lot of really strong thematic sounds. So I hope that everyone is prepared for that. I'm digressing. But there's a lot of stuff coming out soon, not just in movies, but also in television. Any Only Murders in the Building fans, because that show is absolutely amazing. That's my whole personality right now. I'm super obsessed with it, and I can't wait for season three, August 8th. Put it on your watch list on Hulu. We're going to have a whole episode, probably multiple episodes about this show, because it has consumed me. It's actually amazing. And there's a lot of other great television coming out right now. Good Omens season two is coming out. Can you believe that? I, I thought they were only going to do one season because there's only one book, but this is just awesome. And the plot seems super cool. So super excited for a bunch of stuff coming out right now. But we also will probably be discussing the Writers Guild strike because the WGA needs its money. These people need their money. Writers, creatives, actors, these are the people that actually get stuff made they produce the content so for production companies to not be supporting them and giving them the money they deserve and need is really atrocious and they need to do better and you know share the love share the money that's the whole point you can't be in a collaborative business and not share the wealth and the recognition and these people go unnoticed so i hope that these production companies and higher-ups really get their shit together because without the people creating the content the world is going to be completely different and we all need media we all love movies and television so this is a very super important thing so we're definitely going to have an episode about it and we're definitely going to have an episode about cats because my cat is meowing right now she's adorable though we're going to talk about cats everyone loves cats but that's it for today. Thank you for listening to our mini episode, Rhapsody on Barbenheimer and other things of such. Thank you for following and subscribing for more content. And please stay tuned and always stay alert for new updates about the podcast. And please interact with us at rhapsodypodcast at gmail.com. And maybe we'll have an episode about how noisy New York City is because it is extremely noisy even in a padded room a soundproof room you can still hear things so that's enough for today thank you for listening <laughs>